Ready and press. Good, and return. Ready and press. And return. Good, relax for a second. So start soaking in. What's happening with the spine? Does the spine stay neutral? What's the path of the bar? Let's zero in on a couple of those things. Go ahead and get set, Ethan. If you're watching for neutral spine, where would you look? From here to here, the entire, entire range of motion. None of this should change. Ready and press. And return. You would watch things like the path of the bar. What should it be? Should be straight, right? Ready and press. You think it's straight? I think so. Return. Good. Watch one more here. Does he have active shoulders? Press. And return. Relax. So I think Ethan's got a pretty sharp press, right? Looks pretty darn good. The big hitter's in the start position. Neutral spine or midline stability. Get set here for a second. Let's talk about the setup. His elbows are down slightly in front. Go ahead, just relax for a second. Yeah, that's what you were doing before, right? And he knows he's on camera, so some of this changes. But what's happening here with his ribs already? See how he's kind of sway back here? He's already sticking his chest out. So what's the cue? What's a cue I can give to help him be better there? That I was giving a lot of people around the circle. Yeah, so ribs down, squeeze. Yeah, that is what we're looking for. Now he's wound up pretty tight. The path of the bar was really good. I want you to watch overhead. Go ahead and press. So neutral spine. Relax your head just a little bit. Just look straight ahead. Yeah, even back further. Come back. Yeah, right there. Now here, if you watch his ribs, squeeze these down hard. That. Now what happened to the bar? It pulled forward. So what do I do? Pull the bar back. Relax your head. Yeah, right there. Push up. And now return. I want you to notice one more thing here. Where his elbows go? Behind the bar. Where's that heavy bar going? Right to the floor, right? So relax for a moment. We got a couple things. I think when he's thinking about it, he can wrangle his ribs down and keep that spine neutral. But when he doesn't think about it so much, he gets uh, overextended in his spine. So what's the cue for that, Mike? Yeah, pull your ribs down. So remember that. And then on the return, what happens to his elbows? His elbows drop. What's a cue that I can give for that? Ethan, what was I giving you around the circle? Keeping your elbows up. So a verbal cue, keep your elbows up. Let's combine those two things. We'll address the spine thing first and then the elbow thing. Get set. So what's the cue here for his midsection? Right there. Squeeze your ribs down. That's better. Elbows up. Great start position, right? Path of the bar is good. And press. Straight up. Relax your heads. There you go. Now ribs down. Better? Do you see the little change there? It's a much better overhead position. Now on the way down, I'm just going to guide his elbow. Elbows up. Go ahead and return. Elbows up. Elbows up. Better? One more. Wrangle these ribs. This is a tactile cue just to keep them tight here. And press. Stay off my hands. Squeeze them, squeeze them, squeeze them. Ribs in. There you go. Now keep those elbows up as you return. Down. Up, 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 up. Relax. Better, right?